yeah you like you gave a very clear explanation about like why you wanted to write this book yeah but five years it's mm-hmm. a long period of time right what kept you going for five years i mean what is in this book that kept you going or what was the like inspiration that you just kept on going well people might not believe it but i wake up every morning and that's what i've been doing for the past five years and huge chunk like five to eight hours of my time always goes in writing this book that's what it has been all about and in the past couple of weeks even more because now it's the publishing stage and the biggest inspiration is that this book is an inspiration for me as well like when i write this book i feel that i did great i did great in the 2017 2018 time and i better do better now like i might i i should do something to even outperform myself what i did over there because i have the experiences now and more importantly i even have a lot of resources now so i should do better i should i should do something that even overshadows whatever i did like most of these people know me uh, because i'm a former isro scientist because i'm a former scientific officer at department of atomic energy because i got selected in iit bombay but but i want them to now know me for something bigger than that for yeah. now i want them to know me as a writer and and that book deserves that i i feel that even if i was not the writer that is one of the best fiction ever written that is one of the best novel ever written it will give you an experience so like you asked like what is the genre of the book it is a fictional book set up in the nuclear program of the country of a boy who wants to get into indian space research organization and uh, a lot of things happen right most of these people who are checking me out on social media just get shocked by the fact that i just got selected in two of like i failed in physics in class 11 i have 65 percentage in pcm in 12th board and i've got like 53 marks in mathematics i've got 61 marks in physics and and then this guy goes and becomes scientist in two of the biggest research programs of the country right and most people are just dazzled like oh my god this guy did something great and i really respect the fact that people still respect that like academic uh, victories and you know there's so much going on in my life right now when it comes to being an engineer some people think that i'm not even an engineer anymore and i've not even talked about that but when you read these books when you read these lines in this book you'll understand like why i was really able to do all those things like that character we are going to disclose the character very soon is a guy with like tremendous passion that guy just looks at something and just runs for it he does not stop no matter what happens okay coming to the same yeah. thing like we've been talking around the main like the main part or main yeah. soul of the book is just like your main character mm-hmm. who is your main character and what is going to be like so you want me to reveal the name of the character yes that's yeah, about time yeah yeah the name of the character is ashwin taksh yeah and uh, it goes along the same storyline yeah he's a graduate from 2016 mechanical engineering yeah goes for one year in coaching institutes in delhi prepares for competitive examination fails in gate 2017 uh fails in isro 2017 but by hook or crook makes it into the nuclear program which we are going to call again a name drop science center of atomic research which is scar for short okay so is your character is very much inspired from you personally from your time being in the organization of course, called yeah. bark yeah right. this is not like fictional like someone thinks of, of a murder mystery and just writes it on a paper so it's completely inspired from I've experienced own. those yeah. things and okay. and that's what i'm trying to write it over here okay that yeah. pretty much answers my question mm-hmm. so how do you define your book like why is your book different from the other books why would a buyer would be interested in buying your book rather than the other books which are the contemporaries of yours it it relates to almost everybody like a lot of people might think that okay it is about an engineer okay. all right it is about a scientist but it is about pursuit of a dream career like musicians will be able to relate to it 
artists, engineers, scientists, um, bankers, everybody wants to live a life where they do something which they love it, right? And they don't feel like they're working. They're they're pers- pursuing their passion and they're getting paid for that. They love their life. That is something that we all want to pursue, right? There's not a person who says that, oh, I'm, I want to be a slave and I, I want to hate eight hours of my day. And then I just want to get a paycheck at the end of the month. And then I'm waiting for the next paycheck, right? Everybody has a dream. Everybody has a passion. Everybody wants to love what they do for a living, right? And this is the career trajectory of Ashwin Taksh. Like he has set his mind that I want to do space science and engineering, right? Yeah. And, and you see that I've never been this emotional before yeah. in any kind of talk. But the fact that I have lived that life and then I've written that life for five years in a way that audience can be able to saw. So I'm trying my best to hold my bold voice where it's been difficult. But I'm happy that I'm in front of a familiar face, so I'll be more comfortable than usual. So, so what was I saying? Um, so yeah, pursuit of a dream career, right? People don't understand what it takes. People don't understand how much you have to sacrifice. People don't understand how much pain you have to face along the way. People don't understand how it changes you. Right? Yeah, so it won't be wrong to say that like it doesn't have a particular audience. Right. It's like for everyone, whether you're a musician, whether you're a writer, whether you're a street vendor, whether you are maybe a prime minister of India. Mm. It's This book is for everyone. Everyone can relate it because everyone has a dream. And right. this book is about a dream. Yeah, even if you don't have a dream, you read this book, you'll think that, oh, what am I doing with my life? Yes. Right? I should have something that I do with my life, right? Like, for example, I still remember like three days ago when you read the final draft, like the one that we are going to publish. By the way, Komal is kind of the only one who has read the entire book, right? We, we Other give... friends are of no use. We have been asking <laughs> them to read it, but nobody has that much time to read it. Well, even even it's your own family. Okay, complaints apart, <laughs> keep going. Right. Uh, well, everybody has their own priorities, and that's what I love about Komal is that she has always taken this book like I have taken this book, right? And, uh, and regardless, like... Both me and Koma love reading this book, even though uh, we are we are part of this book. But uh, the last time you read it, like two days ago, when you read it completely, the final draft, the one that we are going to publish, I still remember you saying that, oh, what am I doing with my life? Right. And when you look at Koma, like she's doing a PhD, she has done great with her life. She has done great in so many different domains. And when a book makes someone like her question like am i doing everything that i can with my life and that's what i asked every day writing this book and you have seen me change as i write this book right like that's the character i want to be yeah i imagine you going back to the pages of this book right. and taking inspiration when there has been like downs in your life mm-hmm. yeah, yeah yeah and and i have i don't talk about it but the time since i left isro has been horrific for me, right? I never dealt with anxiety. I never dealt with depression. And you're going to read this book and you'll see that what Ashwin Taksh has been been through. And you'll question, oh my God, this guy should have faced some dark, dark times. I trust me, trust me. I never faced depression or anxiety until I left Israel. But the things that happened after that, man, it was crazy. I never talked about it because like, I don't want to cry a sob story over here. But this book was an inspiration continuously. And this book like pulled me out of it. Like I'm, I'm very proud to say that I was able to defeat anxiety. I was able to defeat depression a, a couple of just a couple of months ago. Right. I told you, like, I did it. I'm out of it. And that was writing. Like, I was I was writing it. I was like contemplating what is going on and why it is happening. And uh, I just wrote like a two page. I sent it to you and like I'm I'm done with it. I'm little, out of it. Little disclaimer, mm-hmm. like the depression and anxiety were not because he left his through. No, oh yeah, him. yeah. Some <laughs> some might be thinking that, yeah. A lot of people ask me, do you ever regret leaving Israel? Hell no, not for a second. I'm actually very proud of my decision and the point that I made that decision. 